Hello Hounds, and welcome to our 15th and final episode of Hounds TV this semester. I'm Dylan. And I'm Eagle. This week is our last Friday of semester one. Man, has it flown by. Keep in mind that after study hour is quiet time, so make sure you get some studying done. Tuesday, January 30th is Block A exam, and in the afternoon there will be study period for Block B and E. Wednesday, January 31st is the Block B exam in the morning and Block E will be in the afternoon. Thursday, February 1st, is Block D exam in the morning and C exam in the afternoon. Good luck to everybody. Now, we'd like to head over to Salton with Hounds on the Street. Hayden, yeah. Brianna, Alicia Kaplan, Georgia. Who am I here with? Kobe. Ryder. And what was your favorite segment this year? Definitely Pump with Adam. Real Hounds of State, episode one. Um, the challenges. Challenge of the week. Hounds on the street. Challenge of the week. Valley. Who am I here with? Socrates. Cap. Ethan. Real. And what's your favorite segment this year? Uh, top ten. Hounds on the street. Hounds real estate. Hounds top ten. I'm here with Clipper, Jada, Dan, Robbie. And what was your favorite segment this year? Uh, Hounds Real Estate. Uh, top ten. Hounds on the street. Uh, Real Hounds Estate. Who am I here with? Stefan. And what's been your favorite segment this year? Hounds on the street. Thank you guys for watching the Hounds on the Street. This is the final episode, and I will see you. I will never see you again. <laughs> Thanks, Alton. What was your favorite segment of the year, Dylan? Can I have to say the first episode, Birthdays with Nordley. What about you, Eagle? It's got to be Emilio's Real Hounds Estate. Eagle had the opportunity to sit down with Zomer and get an update on esports. Hello Hounds, today I'm here with Zomer, our special guest, to talk about eSports. Uh, let's, uh, let's get right into it. What is eSports? Yeah, it's actually a real exciting opportunity. It's virtual competitive gaming, right? So uh, it's all about uh, coming together as a group or as a team and then competing against other teams, so either across the province or across the United States and Canada. Um, it's new to uh, Notre Dame. Over the last four years we've been building this program. So. Uh, currently, uh, we had a team compete in a provincial Rocket League league, and we came out with a seven and zero record. So we've done pretty well for ourselves. Okay, um, when you're talking about like esport, like the leagues that you're playing in, um, you know how like in hockey you can have you can use your hockey to go to like different areas in the, in like Canada, for example. Can you do that with esports? Yeah, it's actually really exciting because now more than ever, there's potential opportunity to go to the next level. So like whether it's through Canada uh, universities or colleges like the U of A or um, Northwest College in Alberta, even in St. Clair's College over in Ontario, or possibly even NCAA, there's more scholarship opportunities in esports now. And that includes games that aren't just Rocket League, but uh, Valorant and uh, CSGO and Siege and Fortnite and even NHL. Uh, NBA 2K or even Madden. Nice. Okay. And then um, let's let's talk about the facility here. What um, what are the kind of consoles that you have around? Yeah, one of the best things about the esports program here is that we've just kind of moved into a new facility. Uh, three years ago, it started out in a classroom where we kind of had uh, the consoles and computers off to the side. And now currently in the uh, basement of Seaman Hall here, we have a full facility dedicated to our program. So we have 20 PCs loaded up with every single game imaginable, anything that's offered through Epic Games, Riot Games, or Steam, uh, which covers pretty much everything you need. But if you want a little bit of variation, we also have six PlayStations around that will also offer console gaming. Nice, and then um, one last thing to add. What if somebody wants to like bring their own console? 
Yeah, more than welcome. We'll actually clear out a station for you, especially if you want to play like on your own Xbox and have your own kind of custom controller. You want to have that feel. More than welcome to bring it on down and use it even during our competitions, right? So uh, your own console or your own laptop, like a gaming laptop, you're welcome to bring. I think the coolest thing too is like we are always going to be welcoming to every single person. So if you are uh, finishing up hockey and you kind of are looking for another extra curve, um, come on down. Send me an email, send me a uh, Teams message, or find me in uh, throughout the school and say that you want to compete. It's a pretty simple process, right? So we'll get you set up on one of our computers or consoles. We'll get you a couple teammates to play with, and uh, we'll put you kind of right ahead in the game, see where your skills are at, and hopefully we'll have some fun. All right, well, thank you for that, Zomer. Yeah, appreciate your time, Eagle. Yeah. Thanks, Zomer. I'll definitely be playing some Valorant. Now, it's time for Challenge of the Week. Over to you, Banda and Eden. Welcome back, Hounds. I'm Banda. And I'm Eden. And this is Challenge of the Week. Wow, I can't believe this is our last episode. I know, it's so sad. Let's take a look at some of our favorite memories. Can't turn over. Oh, I got it. Thank you for everyone who participated in, in the challenges. 
We're gonna miss being on Hounds TV. Good luck in finals this week. Wow, that was a great challenge to finish the semester with. For sure was. Shout out to Banda, who just committed to Jamestown. Congrats. And for one last time, we would like to hand it over to Bryant with Top 10. It's time! episode in the books. Sucks we're done for this semester. Hopefully next semester's class will put up a show like we did. See you later, hounds. Mm -hmm.